uh, call the uh, special common council meeting uh, to order mm -hmm. for October 18th. And uh, the first item of business. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. Marks? Here. Van Summer? Here. Thompson? Here. Van Blerkum? Here. Elkin? Here. Flannum? Here. And I see Manor is not here. Okay. So the order of business will be closed session. We're going to have about a, about a five to 10 minute closed session. Uh, and then we will reconvene, make some announcements, and uh, then we'll go into the committee as a whole meeting. So um, we'll go into closed session regarding Wisconsin Statute 19.85, parent 1, parent C, considering employment promotion compensation or performance evaluation data of any public employee over which the governmental body has jurisdiction or exercises responsibility. And this is in regard to the police chief business. So I'll move to go into closed session. Second. Motions made and seconded to go, go into closed session. Roll call vote. Marks? Yes. Van Summer? Yes. Thompson? Yes. Van Blarkham? Yes. Elkin? Yes. Flanham? Yes. And can I ask who made the second? Thank you. <laughs> okay, so all of you except Dan Peters and B and uh Jeff, I don't you don't have to go. You can sit down. But the rest of you folks, if you would kindly exit for a few short moments, we'll try to not keep you. <laughs> and we will be going coming right back into session. So Yes, you do. Yeah, yeah, it's all you. Enter, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My dog took your hand already. Pretty much the Yeah. All right. We we can't do anything till Taylor gets back to turn all the electronics on. So <laughs> oh, there she's back now. So uh it gives me a great deal of pleasure to introduce our new police chief before he gets up here and gives you uh, a little of his background and history. Uh, let me say that I believe this is way more vetted than any police chief or officer that we've ever employed before. Um, process for those that might be interested that wouldn't have known about it was that originally we hired a a uh, former St. Croix County Sheriff that had a law enforcement committee and guided us through at least the start of the uh, process of, of ad advertising and getting uh, candidates. We had six candidates uh, for, for uh, the position uh, of which uh, Dan and uh, one other was were the two finalists. They went to a committee of citizens that was composed of uh, Sean Dorfler, Nikki Gullickson. Uh, Sean, obviously, you would know it as him as Dr. Dorfler from the school. Uh, Nikki Gullickson, who is the uh, manager of the Municipal Ambulance Service, now known as Town and Country. Tom Stengel from the Amory Free Press. Bob Rasmussen, he's from the Pickleball Court. <laughs> well, formerly, formerly a judge, Eric Elkin, who sits on the council, and Keith Rule, who is, I believe, a retired pastor. I know he's a pastor. I, is he retired yes, now? Yes. I think so. And uh, they had a chance at our two candidates. Um, uh, for those who care, they did not 
we're not able to, to single one uh, candidate out and uh, offer that candidate's name to the council. And I think uh, they rightfully so. By the way, before they got them or as they got them, all of the council people and all of the committee, the uh, citizen committee were uh, guided by a process that was called the Harrison assessment, which is a uh, numerical way of, of uh, selecting or finding the best matched candidates for the particular job that, that uh, we had in mind. Um, so that was presented to the council and the council then conducted secondary interviews with our two candidates. And uh, um, they were, I would say, quite lengthy and uh, pretty thorough. At that point in time, then our candidates were sent to uh, Steve Smith, who was formerly a Polk County investigator. And Steve also uh, runs or has a business of of uh, conducting background checks. And uh, I'm pretty sure Steve knows as much about Dan as his mother does at this point in time. So um, so it was it was very thorough. Uh, and Dan passed with flying colors. as our other candidate was very, very close, very close. Uh, I think we had the two two good candidates and the two best. and uh, so with that said, um, I want to uh, call Dan up. Dan Peters currently lives in Balsam Lake. Dan, I'd like to have you give the folks a brief biological history. <laughs> uh, well, I originally grew up on the eastern part of the state uh, over by Luxembourg, Wisconsin. Uh, I graduated high school from there. I went to Mount Scenario College and got my bachelor degree over in Ladysmith. I started working for the Rust County Sheriff's Department in 1990. And then in 1995, I switched over to the Ladysmith Police Department. And then I was there until 2006, 2007. 2007, I came to St. Croix Falls. And I've been with the St. Croix Falls Police Department ever since. And then I got hired here with these guys. So I have a lot of educational background, um, not only my bachelor's degree, I also have a master's degree in leadership and executive management from Kaplan University and numerous other trainings throughout the years. I've been doing law enforcement now, just starting my 34th year. So extensive background. So okay. right. thank you very much. Can you swear him in? Yep. Taylor. Well, Taylor is coming up here to do the swearing in. And by the way, uh, Dan will be on duty tomorrow. So, okay. All right. <laughs> Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, state your name. I, Daniel Peters. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and comply. Will support and comply. With the Constitution. With the Constitution. Of the United States of America. Of the United States of America. The Constitution and laws. Constitution and laws. Of the state of Wisconsin. In the state of Wisconsin. The charter the char laws. The charter laws. <laughs> And ordinances of the city of Amory. And the ordinances of the city of Amory. The rules and regulations of the Amory Police Department. The rules and regulations of the Amory Police Department. And the law enforcement code of ethics. And the law enforcement code of ethics. And that I will faithfully and impartially discharge. I will faithfully and partially discharge. The duties of my office. The duties of my office. As police chief to the best of my ability. As police chief to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Okay. Then I need you to sign. All right, we are official. On Deborah.
Thank you. With that, uh, I have one other announcement regarding police department, and that is that uh, Mr. James Presley has been hired by the uh, city of Amory as a police officer. Uh, I won't have him necessarily come up and give a bio, but uh, Jim, would you stand up so folks uh, know who you are? Jim comes from Barron County most recently, and uh, uh, he too has gone through much the same process, uh, albeit not quite as uh, detailed maybe, but uh, congratulations, Jim. And he's starting the 28th of October, 29th, 24th, okay. One of them. <laughs> Pretty quick anyway. <laughs> All right, um, with that, the special council meeting has been taken care of. Move to adjourn. Second it. Motions made and seconded to adjourn the special common council meeting. All those in favor say aye. 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 Closed or closed? There. Now, anyone that doesn't have business for their